I think we're just waiting for Lauren and Jeremy. If they can join, that would give us quorum. Right, Michael? Yes, I think that is correct. But maybe in the meantime, can we just give Al a, like update on where things stand with the, the sign on? Sure. You... Uh, yeah, be, be, no? be pleased to and just uh, just stop me when everybody, when the quorum is here or whenever. Um, we are either at 94, 90, I think we're at 95. Yeah. Uh, as of last night. And I, interestingly, uh, somebody at, at a meeting last night said they heard that Waybridge had adopted a declaration, which would be really, really great because they would have done that on their own. We have not been in touch with them. And that's really wonderful when communities decide on their own that they are going to move forward. Uh, so I've got to check that out this morning. So that would make an additional one. But as I said, we're at either 94, 90, 94, 95, 96. I'm not sure which. Uh, Jamaica adopted at a meeting that we we participated in on on Monday night, and that was after a bit of a an interesting an interesting struggle um, huh. um, uh, as such. But it was a good struggle. They had an anti hate um, 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 statement, a very, very strong anti-hate statement, which which derived out of some issues that they had in Jamaica. And they wanted that to stand as a as a declaration of inclusion. And we we we've certainly supported the anti-hate uh statement. It was very, very strong, but felt that that was not a welcoming statement that the declaration of inclusion is. And so we worked with them to try to combine them to make a, an even stronger statement. And uh, that came that came through, uh, I think. So the thought process was good. The level of communi uh, community participation was good. And it just felt good when it finally got done on Monday night. Um, and so we're moving towards um, um, a goal of 100 uh, by May. And it looks like, uh, you know, that, that's, that's reachable. Like next week, know? yeah. That, that's re could be next week, you know. But we... Uh, <laughs> Operationally, we set a goal in our, internally of 105, so that if we if we, that, that that ensured we'd be motivated to meet, you know, to to get to 100. So that's uh, that's kind of where we are. We might you might have heard that two communities uh, had vote which had voted uh, rescinded, uh, and for two different reasons or three or four different reasons or I don't know. We're not sure. We understand. Right. We don't know even if they understand why they rescinded, but our, our feeling was that they probably weren't enthusiastic about adopting in the first place, and they found a reason to uh, uh, to, to get out after some voices were, were expressed, those being Highgate, which you probably read about in the newspaper more recently, uh, Hubbardton, which is uh, which is down here. So we've not... Uh, We've not been in contact with them because uh, they have not responded to our uh, our offer to uh, to talk with them, uh, to dialogue and see where we where we come out. So we just got to kind of let those go and move on to more welcoming, if you will, communities uh, to spread the word. And uh, when we get to 100, we'll be uh, sending out a congratulatory letter and um, uh, imploring those communities to move more aggressively or take the next step, you know, in, in terms of adopt of, uh, of uh, implementation. Uh, we're trying to get the governor to speak out more forcefully about inclusion week and about inclusion. Uh, and some folks are working on that. So we'll see what, what happens. We suspect he will reissue the declaration, uh, the proclamation rather, uh, but we want him to be more visibly vocal on, on this issue. So we'll see what happens. So that's kind of an overview. Thanks so much. Yeah, I think been, you know, following all this stuff and continuing to talk about it, I think, you know, I think I don't think anything's changed since the last time you were on, which is um, or maybe like more solidified of we're gonna be introducing the language um or af with the new city council, because there is just like so much changeover with the city council. And so yeah. to ensure like full understanding and opt-in and operationalizing like really wanting to to start off strong with the new city council with this and so the dates that we're looking at are um march 22nd um is that city council meeting and then if for whatever reason it can't get it onto that agenda it would be the next one which would be april 5th so um still plenty of time before the week but also we we probably will be after 100 for sure 
Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not going to hold that for you, but uh, but <laughs> we're just we're just moving to our target was was a hundred and whatever it is. And right, right. Guys, no, I'm you joking. Guys I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll leave it there. It's great. Great. Let's get yeah. two fifty. Right. Yeah. Two fifty one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the targets, you know, what we really want to do is kind of stop that, not stop fully, obviously, you know, don't want to lose the momentum, but uh, evaluate where we are and see what communities are, are doing, because it's one step to adopt, it's another step to uh, to to begin to to, to live the, the declaration uh, session. It's kind of pointless to have, you know, 246 towns you know, say, yeah, we adopt, and then nothing happens after that. So we kind of want to go back and say, okay, what have you done, uh, you know, since uh, since you adopted, and see what yeah. that looks like, and then can, as we continue to move towards, you know, whatever the next target is, another, you know, twenty five and six months or fifty and, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, do you need me in this meeting? Do you need more from me, or I'd be pleased to stay if I can contribute. I looked at your decorate. I think it's. Yeah. I think what you're going forward with certainly uh, aligns itself very strongly uh, with uh, with whatever what other towns are doing and and more. And you've obviously thought very thoroughly uh, and seriously through this. So uh, uh, you, you, the com your, your committee is uh, is doing some really really fine work, and we congratulate you. So Hi. thanks for the update as well. I think I think we we know our next steps, and it's just a matter of getting it before the city council. Well, let us know what you. I've, I've marked it down, uh, March twenty second and and uh, and April fifth. Uh, so let me know, and uh, we'll be at your next meeting. Just kind of you know sitting in the corner, uh, seeing what what goes on. How's that sound? Sounds great. Okay. Thanks so much. Call on me. I'll give you updates um, uh, as they come about, um, so you know what the latest is, both the good and hopefully no bad, but. Uh, We'll give you the state of state of play in Vermont. Okay. Awesome. Okay, guys. Have a good meeting. Thanks, Al. Yeah, you Thank too. You. Stay Ciao. Warm. All right, you too. Um. Well, Jeremy, we, Michael, and I were sharing before this join. We were just like, "How has it been? Uh, two weeks already. Again, what is happening? What is? How does this keep happening to us?" Um, and that we didn't have um, like the minutes circulated and uh, and the agenda was just like other business. Um, but I think, let me pull it up here again. Um, I think to just check in on was like New American Voter Outreach, um, checking in on the Elks Club project and then talking about recruitment and updating the committee application process. Is that right? Or is there other things that we should talk about on this agenda? Um, just pulling up a document. Oh, yeah, yeah. It seems like those are the things. Review application and offer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So maybe real quick for the Elks Club project, um, is that I just got invited yesterday to meet with Josh at one o'clock one to one thirty today if that time works for anyone else too i can invite you right now to that calendar it's just like you know zoom zoom invitation I'm not available, um, at that not time. available. My what, is that you, what is it that you're talking about the country club engagement yeah. so well, of like you know how a community engagement you know some of the, the proposals that i put forward before okay. just checking in on it so yeah I can just send it out to the whole list too, just in case someone wants to join. Well, yes, I'll, I'm not sure where I'll be, but if you send the, if you yeah. just circulate the link. Uh, it, I, it's a Zoom meeting, I, is that right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So if I'm available, I will attend. <laughs> not sure. I'm trying to get a bunch of things done. Um, I'm going to be away from the 24th of February through March 10th. Um, so I-, uh -huh. I I think I miss at least one meeting. I'll miss one meeting. Where will you be? New so Zealand. Oh Whoa. my gosh. Take me with you. 
Well, I, don't know if you, I, I just learned last night that New Zealand, all of New Zealand is under a state of emergency because a cyclone hit up on the north north part of the North Island. Oh, my gosh. But it's, um, it's done nationwide damage. So I'm not sure where I'll where I will be, but the plan is that I'll be in New Zealand. But, uh, I had no idea. I hadn't seen that at all. <clears throat> well, yeah. I hadn't either. And a good friend of mine in Chicago sent me a word about it and I said, oh goodness, there goes the whole trip. We'll see. Man. We'll see. Hopefully we get some place warm regardless. Um since you're talking about calendars, I also will be out of town for our March 1st meeting. And that's also when Michael will be on. So let's just go ahead and cancel that. Does like so that make sense? Right, because they'll be much less likely to have a quorum. Hi, Gina, what day was that to cancel? March 1st. <clears throat> right, because Michael and Jeremy will be out. Cool. And then I'll be gone the next weekend. So, and then Carol, we just um, got an update on, uh, from Al on the um, on the on the um, declaration of inclusion. Declaration of inclusion. Thank you. <laughs> like, words come to me. Um, and uh, and then we're just setting the agenda of, uh, oh, and that, and recognize that at one, one o'clock, one to one thirty today, I'm going to be checking in with Josh about the Country Club Road project. That's the earliest we could meet, and so um, I also invited Michael. But are you available, or would you be interested? Should I invite you here real quick too? No, you're muted. Yeah, sorry. So yeah. Um, one o'clock today. Um... There's a, something going on already, but okay, uh, no worries. Yeah, so I yeah. mean, what that it's it's a um, uh, volunteer appreciation for the the senior center volunteers. So I kind of wanted to show up for that for a little bit, but um, so the meeting is on Zoom with Josh. Yeah, don't don't. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, if you can't, if you have something else going on, don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I potentially could do both. So I could show up, you know, up to the volunteer thing for a little bit and then join the meeting if that would be helpful. I'll invite you, but I think don't, yeah, don't, okay. don't, don't stress. Yeah, I was wanting to make... That's at 1.30, you, you said? 1 to 1.30. Oh, 1 to 1.30. 1, okay. yeah. Okay. And so then the only other thing on our agenda was to check up about like recruitment and the committee application process. Do we want to go ahead and um and do do that right now today or yeah, or what's kind of what's the process that we should any any thoughts on process for that besides pulling up a sharing my screen? <clears throat> um well I'll I'll note that I had assign myself a task which I did not complete and that was, was that reviewing to, it at first no that was yeah. to write try and get some kind of a boilerplate like call to recruitment for the committee um, so that is still something I need I would um, I can do I will do awesome that we can use to send around thank you um and then let me just pull it up real quick i clicked the wrong button sorry now it's pulling up montpelier live here we go Or if someone can beat me to it.
All right. I'll just take notes in an email that I can send. So for the committee application, the um, notes that I had here before are um, education versus experience, um, wanting to make sure we can get demographic questions, um, language uh, options, and having open-ended questions. Um, and then we review the application and um, offer some comments. So mm -hmm. can everyone, does everyone see the committee application or should I, would it be helpful to share my screen? I don't see it, but um, so is that an application that's used for every committee for the city? It's the same one. Okay. And we're just making recommendations for changes to it for everyone. Right. Yep. Okay. And it's in the chat, Carol, I just linked okay. to it, but if that, yeah, yeah if that doesn't work. I just so, got it. Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> and so maybe first, like for the demographic questions, the way that it is now is it's after you submit it, there's then a link that you can click to enter in a survey. Um, and so just noting that, I think, is all. Oh, and because we wanted to get the um, link to for stipends and note about stipends in it. So are we proposing that we even remove um, education as something that's on there, uh, that would be my suggestion because I think, I think that, you know, for, I mean, just thinking about the people that we work with, if we were really trying to attract those folks, we would just take that off altogether because, you know, I think that people would feel like that was a barrier. Taking which off? Education. Oh, what I was wondering, Carol, on that is, what if we kind of reframe what we're asking for and actually move it to the end? Um, so I'm wondering, it could be useful if somebody feels they have a certain education or credential or whatever that kind of informs how they would participate in a particular committee. I mean, that could yeah. be useful to know perhaps. Um, yeah. So de-emphasize it, kind of make sure it's lower on the list of priorities, change the language a bit to be more as an optional kind of request. Yeah, I like that idea um, because, it, uh, and it is saying something like, um, and are there other things that you want to include that you think would be helpful for us to know? And then in parentheses, education, hmm. you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, skills, spe specific skills, that kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did that. Yeah, because right now it's just a lot too. Like, yeah, it's a, again, it's a one I've theme. only filled it out once, but like it took me, I was like very stressed writing it. And because I was applying for two, I think as I shared this, I was like, I applied for the rest <laughs> of the committee and the and this committee at the same time. And it was it was a lot. Um I mean, yeah, I would... so education, professional activities, community activities, and why are you interested in serving and what talents, experience, and any other comments. And I was like, I think we can probably smoosh those more together right yeah. yeah and reorder i mean i would almost lead with the why are you interested in serving on this board or committee like that's people are here because they feel they feel a sense of like i want to be a part of this let's let's get them hooked on writing about that first and then ask the other kinds of things we might want to know then it's totally asset based, you know, and and recognizing their assets and letting them offer what they think is important. Mm -hmm. Do you want to propose some language, Jeremy, for like what the questions would be? Can we do that? Um. Yeah. Sorry to put you on the spot. Uh, I, the one question I have is: Are you a registered uh, are you a registered voter in the city of Montpelier? Um, yeah. First, first of all, um, it's not required, as I understand it, to be. A, um, you have to be a voter or a resident. Yeah. 
No, no you not, don't actually. Neither. You don't have to be a resident even. So, right. Um, but it, but it's, it's a start, it's a, um, start here is a, a required answer. Um, Right, so it's required I, that you do answer it, but do we just want to move that into the demographic questions afterwards and collect that demographic information? Well, my question is why why do we have to ask the question at all if it's not a yeah. um, a, a requirement of the, of the city council? And I'm not sure about age. Um, if if there's an age requirement. Hmm. That's a good question. If we wanted, because we've often talked about maybe high school age. Well, and we have someone running for the city council who's a, who's a senior in high school right now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, he maybe is to serve as a staff, you might have to be eighteen or older or something like as mm -hmm. a. But like, yeah, definitely not for a volunteer committee position, right? Well. Yeah, I mean, if uh, if if that's not requi a requirement set by the city, why do we ask? Why are we asking it in this application? I, mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. it, I think it would be nice to get more m members of our community involved, but I don't know that um, we need to ask that question. Any other toggle questions before wordsmithing the actual questions? Like at the very end, it's like, I think there's a couple of like, trying to get conflict of interest disclosures. So it's like, are you involved in any personal, professional or business pursuits that would affect your ability to make fair and impartial recommendations? And it's like, there's only a <clears throat> box to disclose if it's yes, obvious. I mean, not obviously, but. What um, what's on the demographic survey? Do That's what I'm trying to get now because the I remembered when Cameron did it, mm -hmm. I thought she had said it was when you sub hit submit, like mm -hmm. the email or like the next page that came up was a link to the voluntary demographic survey, mm -hmm. and I just hit it and I'm just getting um. Submission confirmation. The city of Montpelier and committee application has been successfully submitted. Thank you for your interest in serving. Blah, 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 blah. For more information, please contact city manager's office or email Jay Granfeld. So that's outdated. Mm -hmm. um, so update that information. Oopsies. Yeah. And I haven't gotten an email with mm -hmm. anything other than that either, too. Um. Kelly, if you're there, do you know where that demographic information is getting collected or going to? Sorry, I, I oh, have a on yep, yep, yep. um, So I, I've got tech support on the on the phone. So I'm trying to do a couple of different things at once. And I totally, of course. Um, <laughs> so um, I actually have a note to update that form. And I don't know um, where the demographic um, pieces are, but we can certainly um, connect with Mary Smith, who is the new Jamie and see yeah. what that is for you. That seems like a problem, yeah. Um, and include the like um, application for um, uh, definitely so timely though. Um, we do have a committee chair meeting next Wednesday, just to kind of like go over process and yeah. if like our application isn't up to date. Well, yeah, that's um, 
something for sure. So um, I actually have a meeting later this week that I'll note and um, work on trying to get that squared away. Great. I can email you these. Yeah. These, these notes that we're taking right away. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so wording for these, I'm like, please answer each question in as much detail as possible. And I'm always like, please don't write as much detail as possible. <laughs> You know, like, please provide relevant information. Well, well yeah, rel relevant information, relevant detail. <laughs> please use bullet points. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing a little writing over here to work on the questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll there in a second. All right, and I'm going to see if I can find that. <clears throat> Demographic survey questions. Because I remember being a lot of conversations about like, how are we grouping race? And how are we, like, what kinds of questions are we asking for? Like, there were a lot, there was a lot that we. But you can't asked. ask, you can't ask directly about race. It's not, it's, that's. And so that's different. how we figured this all out was that it was, you submit the application. And then it takes you to saying, oh, like, please, like, we're, we're, we're trying to evaluate how we're doing it, like reaching out to folks a month, you know, and so if you want to volunteer to click this link, then you can do so. that's like a set, but it's a separate form that's like not connected. And um, that seems to have gone missing. But it was, it was not connected. And we were asking about race. And gender too. Mm -hmm. And like and um income. Mm -hmm. Uh I've got the Polko survey. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still. All right, I'm gonna paste the draft in the chat. Or this is just for the question portion or the the open comment question portion. Yeah, just for the record, I'm not finding my notes about the um demographic survey. So who knows? Maybe I dreamed it. Ah. 
I think that seems great. That's so simple and much better. <laughs> so what do you think about a character limit? I mean, to be brief can be helpful if you're reviewing a lot of these. I don't know if that's the case, but um, helps people be specific, a little more focused perhaps in their writing. I feel like for grant applications, it's so hard because, you know, when there's like a super short limit, because mm -hmm. you're like, I'm trying to share all this cool stuff mm -hmm. about my, like it's an exercise in writing. So I, don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel super, I, I feel it both ways, I guess. Yeah. I have two questions. And the first is, um, are there job descriptions? There must be job descriptions for each committee online somewhere. I'm assuming that's on the website, which um, I think in the intro should point to that, you know, that read the job description or, you know, to make sure that they are answering the questions so that they're related to um, the committee they want to apply for. And then What's the, is there an interview process or do they just show up for they show up for their so they get assigned before they they even have a conversation with anybody about serving? I I, oh. <laughs> I think you could you you I mean before I even give could, people an application you could, right you could say in you know, you could say in the pre preface to the questions that candidates are encouraged to have a conversation with a. A, a, a current committee member, chair, or member, um, so that, yeah. um, and then I guess um, also say you you know the you can find it, that information is available at the on the city website, so that they know where to go to you know who to look yeah. to locate people. Um, I mean, I'm bringing that up because of the recent <laughs> issue with the arts commission thing and um you know it might not have gotten as far as that person even applying I, I think he's he probably still would have but um you know from my perspective even though we have people who apply and we bring them on and then they get kind of paired to a panel um we have you know I I do an intake with everybody who wants to be a volunteer um before I even give them an application because yeah. we're looking for an appropriate fit. And right. then even, you know, when you join the team, like I think there should be just a kind of a team building period, right? Like, I think that that's really important. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I've served on some committees. I didn't know exactly what I was getting into. And, and I think that that's really important in terms of um, what, what expertise, in fact, do you bring to a committee? Um, and how much time is in, in, well, does that represent? What com, kind of com, commitment are you making? Um, so I think there needs to be more in the preface. To, it's, also, it's also like you know, taking on a new volunteer job, right? Like it's like taking on a job. So is is it going to be a good fit? Which right. is exactly what happened with the Arts Commission. Like, you know, that uh, didn't seem like it was going to be a good fit. So um, I think that's important for the success of the team as well. I mean, I, you know, I... I can see it both ways where it's just like, oh, this, you know, the city council wants to say, yeah, even if there's going to be controversy because that person is part of the team. Yeah, I think I don't know. I'm feeling a little torn about this because I think, yeah, at and see Jack, we've also we had someone join who was not the right fit to use that language. And, you know, we've we've gone through this too. And I feel like the language of like who is a right like the and even like the intention around like who is the right fit for a committee is like baked yeah. in like who belongs in Montpelier questions you know and right. like end of like who who's making decisions on behalf of the city and just really wanting to I think I would much rather err on the side of having these tensions and having the well, like wrong people on committees and people feel like they can't apply or like feel like yeah. they have to go through an interview process or be 
um, kind of evaluated before um, being appointed to a volunteer committee role. You know, like, yeah, I think I would, I would much rather like be more turnover than um, people not feel welcome to yeah. apply. Yeah. Is yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hear you. I, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, that's why I think like the orientation and the, you know, creating some group norms, I think is important. Um, and I say that because of like a board that I serve on in my community and, you know, a couple people were some um, appointments to fill a couple open positions and it was not going well. <laughs> I mean, it was really causing a lot of harm to um, to our library board. So, mm -hmm. well, I, I I will say that um, the, this committee itself had a very rocky start because people were sort of applying, getting accepted, and then coming to one or two meetings and moving off. Um, and, yeah. and it really took a long time to get to get really settled. Um, I'm a little concerned about, um, you know, th thinking about um, a pre in a, a pre acceptance interview. I mean, I think it's important to get information, but sort of figuring out what's the dynamics of the, of a committee. You know, there may be somebody who who you know wants to get on a committee to to take it down, um, and. Uh, because for one reason or another, it's good to know that uh, because that, that's a perspective that, you know, once you're, in, once you're entrenched in a committee, you don't want to see it just taken apart. But on the other hand, we need, I don't think it's, it's useful or all that helpful to have dissenting voices, um, even in a committee. And, you know, yeah. sometimes... Maybe it's really just like more of an orientation so that they fully understand what they're getting into. I absolutely agree with that. And that, well, you and I went through that, Carol. Um, and, and uh, you know, how much of a commitment are, is a person willing to make uh, to this and really knowing what the commitment, what the commitment is. Right. And I, and, I, and I do agree that that is very important because you don't want someone getting on the committee and then just you know, uh, not coming or, or dis deciding, oh, I, I don't have anything to contribute to this or, or I'm not interested really. Um, it just, it's a waste of everybody's time and energy and good feeling too. <laughs> to... But I think we have to be careful about shutting down dissent. We don't un really understand um, and, and, and might, but might find useful. Well, in the application, does this, does this, committee make recommendations to the city council based on the oh so they just do it on their own mm -hmm. they just no remember. and for committees too yeah people apply and can get appointed without ever anyone on the committee knowing like there's no like hey this person applied do you want to show up to the next city committee meeting to to you know connect with them or whatever do we a collaborative <laughs> approach <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can I can understand it. I mean, we're all volunteers. Um, I'm I'm looking at you, Shana, as the chair. Like to put more work on you to kind of be an employer in terms of evaluating people, meeting with folks. Yeah, you know, it's a lot to ask of you know, I think a volunteer group. But I'm wondering. Do we do we want to add a statement in the preface about encouraging people to reach out to a, a current committee member or chair just for information purposes and figure out how to make that clear what the information is that to do that? Yeah, I think if we I, all well, go ahead, go ahead. It, I mean, yeah, I think I think that makes sense. And I think you're right. I think there's a difference between encouraging people to reach out to learn more about what the commitment and the committee is about is different than asking for like an evaluation process. And I and I think I'm more concerned about that, not from the time, time perspective, but from a like distributing power perspective, right? And like, who are the committee chairs now? And like, why are we doing this whole process? And who do we want the decision? Like, you know, how, how do we want to move power in the committee chairs? And so like that feels really important that it's not mm -hmm. right that it's it's 
you know, pending, pending more work to be done about like the intentions of distributing power and like kind of evaluating candidates for committees. I think it's more like the, the city council should just be making the decisions about who should be going on committees. And then, um, and then when they, when they join, they should yeah, be like, everyone should be like equally or equitably tr trained up and, and supported for success in the committees. That's a lot of words to say, like a very simple thing of like, we're all racist and like, let's just make sure we're not like putting that lens on our review process as much as we can. Yeah. I'm, I think this is a good conversation. I, I would love to hear from Lauren about this mm. just to see what council is kind of thinking about when they have to review these applications and um, I'm just curious, like what information she feels is useful for a council when they're reviewing, um, cause maybe it helps us even cut a little bit more out or maybe we're, we're condensing things that they wouldn't want condensed. So I think this is a, this is a good, like first pass and I would love to hear from Lauren. Yeah. So just Sorry, clarification, are uh, these questions, um, these, these one, two, three, five questions, all that you want that you were thinking would go on the application other than name, address, contact information, things like that? Um, oh, I, I hadn't, I did not take a look at the, the kind of yes, no questions. This is just the long, the long answer questions that I was yeah, addressing. Um, Let's see. I think other than I think the first three of the sh of the yes no questions are irrelevant. But um, are you related to any city councilor? Um, um, I'm not sure. Is there a problem about conflict of interest that we that that question is is getting at? I mean, I'm I really think, yeah. why why are any of these why are any of these yes no questions here now? Um, Right, move the question of relation down to the the um, conflict of interest section. Is that what you're suggesting? Um, other comments in well, there are, there is one. What, there's one more. What, are you involved in any personal, professional, or business yeah. pursuit that? that um, and you could put that there. If those are disqualifiers, I think that that's important to to make clear that you know you, the, the nepotism question is always is always something that has to be addressed one way or another. Um, and I suppose if you were have pending litigation against the city, um, I I don't know how the city could you know if someone says yes. Um, for example, as we had recently, and wants to be on a committee, um, can you legitimately disqualify somebody on that reason? And that's that's so. Should it be there at all? Then, mm -hmm. is that a qu question for any of the city's legal? I would think so. Department. Uh, I, I think it's something to, certainly to be checked with the legal department. You know, which of these questions, you know, um, are, is relevant and and legal? Mm -hmm. What was the, what and legal? I relevant. Want want to ensure they are. Great. I mean, I will say that by making all the questions open-ended, um, it, it does exactly what Shane is concerned about. You know, it puts a, a burden on the applicant to spend a lot of time thinking about that. But it's good. It's that these questions, I think, are more important to know than the yes, no questions. Let me share this draft here real quick. Um, just a demographic survey and to the, um, I 
Let's put that in the chat. Oh, and the spacing didn't work out. Sorry. It's a little block of text there. I think that the question about being related is an interesting one because, I mean, what if you are partnered with somebody and you've, you know, been together for 15 years, but you're not married, um, but you're, you know, and you're not a blood relative, like, I don't know, I, mm -hmm. I really, I mean, I see why, you know, it's important, but. Well, but the question is, does it, that. does it make any difference? I, my wife, Nancy, was on the city council and I was serving on at least two boards at, at that time. Uh, I wasn't disqualified because she was a council member. Mm -hmm. right. 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 And our city clerk is married to a city councilor. So, you know. Yeah, I would think that's not a question worth well i mean sure maybe you want to know that but well being I'm, clear about why i'm not I'm sure you, i'm not sure that you even need to you, you even need to know that because um the rules about um uh, re um recusing are are you basically self recuse mm -hmm. um, and it's a, it's a conflict that's a conflict of interest question right well, right. They're all conflict of interest questions, but if it's like, it's not a conflict of interest to serve because it's a like noting that it's because we have a self-recusal policy. Okay. Um, yeah. But keeping pending litigation and, and keeping, are you involved in any pursuit that would affect your ability to make fair and impartial recommendations? Right. Am I capturing that right? I think so. Keep, keep those. That's that's what I'm I'm offering, but I'm up for any discussion. Um, that's why I think we need to have a, a, a legal department look at that question about yeah. any pending litigation, whether that it disqualifies. It's pending, right? It's not as if the litigation has been resolved against you. Yeah. But um, I, I I think we have to be careful about that, given recent history. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it seems like the reason it's there is, you know, because legal said, you know, you ought to put that on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, well, it would be good to know that that's yeah, what the decision for sure. is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Um, on the the uh, the question, name the city city board or committee if applying for more than one. Um, I I would prefer that um, if you're applying for more than one at this at the, at one time that you, you submit separate applications for each one. Um, I feel like that's maybe a question for city council. Like, yeah, is that what they would prefer? Okay. Right. Okay. You would hope that the answering 
you know, specific to what committee they're applying for. So well, that can make that's, it kind that's of why that's, that's why I made that comment. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's in my I applied for restroom committee and CJAC in the same application. <laughs> so it was like very, very different expertise that I was bringing for some of those. Yeah. Um, okay. Question for city council. Do we want to have step? Do we want to request? So I'm going to have to go. Um, yeah. Kelly just left because we have a meeting at nine for okay. leadership. So. Um, great notes and see you the next time. Do we have any other questions for city council? I'm sorry. We all have to hop in just a second here too. Thank you so much, Carol. Yeah. See you soon. Have a good day. Bye. Do we want to have separate applications for each committee? Do you want to request separate applications for each committee? I, I think that's easier on the committee and it's easier on the applicant. Yeah. 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 And it's easier on the council too, actually. Yeah. But I think I think it's the idea of passing this by Lauren before we get too far down the road is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Do we want to ask Lauren about the, um, yeah, I'll just put that in here. Um, do we, as well as in the All right, I'm gonna share a block of text in the chat once again. Here we go. Thank you guys. Oh, it is really a lot. Um, I, one one thing to relieve the pressure on on the just uh, just committee chairs it could be or um, committee chair or member. I mean, I think you know. I'm sorry. Can you can you say that again? I'm, I can't um, find it. Um, 
your second question, okay, if we encourage applicants to reach out to city committee oh, yeah. chairs, um, and, and should that I, be or, or members? I think, I, yeah. Yep. Great. <laughs> that I mean, otherwise, you, otherwise, you'd be getting all the inquiries. Not that it there seems that to be a We'll be flooded stuff. with so right. many people wanting to join CJ. But, <laughs> but you especially because you have you have so many other commitments. I mean, I think we need to sort of, we, we need to at least offer the possibility of sharing that that responsibility of talking yeah. with people who are interested in. So that's a small point, but. Um, let's see what else here. Oh my god! And the questions didn't make it. In. Oh my god! I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm also wondering. Okay. If, if we want to make paper versions of this available somewhere. Yes. I don't know if they already are, but. And we were talking yeah. about translation. We, we yeah. could so we could put them on our our um. What is it that we want? Why do you want to make paper versions of this? I guess I just got lost in my own thinking here. Yeah, well, I'm I'm wondering. You know, it's increasingly less likely, but if folks are having difficulty with computer based applications, online applications, we could have a note about. Oh. You can find a paper copy of this application at the city clerk's office or whatever. And that there's good and obvious buttons for translation. Well, these can be filled out in uh, currently. They, they can be filled out on uh, pencil and paper right now. Okay. The they can? Yes, you can just download it, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you should download it and print it off. Yeah. And write, and write you know, just write your answers. So. Yeah. I'm just, if we wanted to make those copies available in City Hall, we can put a note about that too. Mm -hmm. All right, friends, I need to. Yeah, we got a hop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was this was actually great for not being prepared at all. Here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See you all in a few weeks. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye.